Hi everybody, welcome to the Wednesday meditation. I am glad that you've joined us today. Uh, today we're gonna look at Psalm 23 and not all of it, just a piece of it. Um, but Psalm 23 is a very familiar Psalm. It's, it's probably the most famous Psalm. And sometimes when things are familiar to us, we, we stop hearing the words, you know, a familiar song or something. You don't really hear the words anymore. So today I'm gonna read Psalm 23 from my original translation of the Hebrew. Um, the Hebrew texts. Um, and hopefully you can listen and hear something a little different in, in this. So Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack or decrease in any way. In pastures green, he makes me lie down. Beside waters peaceful, he guides me. My soul, my entire being, he restores and leads me by paths of righteousness for the sake of his name. And though I walk through the valley into the deepest, darkest places, I will not fear the evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare before me a table in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over and I am satisfied. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and always. Now this psalm is very rich with a lot of things that we can we can talk about it within it, um, but we're gonna focus today on just the first line. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack. I shall not decrease in any way. Um, and for, for in order for us, for this analogy to work, where the Lord is our shepherd, we have to realize that we are the sheep. And sheep are not always the first thing we think of when we think of ourselves. Um, sheep depend on their shepherd for everything. They lack nothing that they need because of the care of the shepherd. They have a relationship with the shepherd that gives them the confidence to know that they will not lack or decrease in any way. Um, now our society doesn't, doesn't teach us that, that we should be depending on on a shepherd of any sort, on anybody of any sort. You should depend on yourself. You should be independent in order to succeed and, and, and get anywhere in life. Um, and in order to be okay, you, you, need, you need to depend on yourself a lot. And this is what our society kind of teaches us. But um, I can't help but think that, that as we navigate the minefield of our lives, there's plenty of room for disasters. Um, this is true even if it wasn't 2020. The everyday chaos and busyness of our lives takes its toll on us physically, mentally, and spiritually. You know, the pressure to do well in school or in your jobs or just in your life in general um, can, be, can, can, can be crushing, that pressure. Um, the pressure to take care of your family or to get everything done every day and every week, that pressure can build up. Those pressures are abundant in our lives. Um, and it's put, we put it on ourselves and other people put it on us. Um, and we can't handle that alone. We're not made to. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack. As sheep, we need to build our relationship with our shepherd because so we can have the confidence that David talks about here because we were made for relationship. Our creator, our God, our Lord created us for relationship with him. And because of this, that friendship is important to us physically and mentally and spiritually. It's it's important to our being. And when we neglect that friendship, it takes its toll. Um, that friendship, that relationship is what should be the foundation for the busyness and the chaos of our lives. That's what we, so that we can have the confidence that we will lack nothing that we need in order to make it through that busyness and chaos. God is our good shepherd. And it, as it tells us in this Psalm, um, and with God, we lack nothing. The first verse is key here. Friendship with the Good Shepherd gives us an abundance of spiritual sustenance. And when our spiritual energy feels depleted because of the chaos and the busyness or because it's 2020 um, and we get burned out from the stress of our daily lives, then we need to tap into God's power, God's abundance of power through prayer or meditation, through Sabbath or however it is that you connect with the shepherd however it is that that you rest in the shepherd 
Um, we all have difficult decisions and busy lives and 2020 has not been good to any of us. And this shows in the actions of those around us and in the action, in our, in our own actions. Um, so I challenge you this week to begin a new practice um, from now until the end of 2020, um, just to kind of help us finish strong um, and spend 15 minutes a day at the beginning or the end or in the middle, wherever you have 15 minutes where you can just relax and breathe and breathe in the friendship of the shepherd. Turn off your phone, do something that helps you feel God's presence every single day and build the bonds of relationship and friendship with the shepherd so that you can be sustained in the valleys of your life so that you know and you have the confidence that you lack nothing that you need. With the shepherd by our sides and in our hearts, we will lack nothing. Um, and we could all use a little more help getting to the end of 2020. Let's close with um, praying Psalm 23 in the original Hebrew. Um, I find it beautiful in the original language, but excuse any mispronunciations because as you've all heard of broken English, I think I have perfected broken Hebrew. So here goes, let us pray. Adonai ro'i lo exar, vino deshe yarbitseni. Ame mano hot yena haleni. Nafshi yeshovev. Yan heni bahmahagale sedek leman shmo. Gam ki alek bege salmabet. Lo era ra ki ata imadi. Shitecha umish antecha. Haima yena hamuni. Ta arot lefanai shulchan neged sororai. Deshanta veshemen. Roshi koshi revaya. Akto vehesed yer de funi ko yume chayai. Veshabti bevet adonai le orek yamin. In Jesus' name, we pray for the bonds of relationship with you, Lord. Amen. I hope everybody has a good week and you can. Reach out to me if you need some suggestions on some spiritual disciplines that you could try um, in order to grow your relationship with the Lord a little, the bonds a little stronger so that you can have the confidence that you lack nothing. Have a good week.